they had called me for the first season, but I was an executive producer, director on another series and was unavailable. And I, I think I had read the show and thought it was incredibly smart, uh, but when I saw the series, I was blown away. And I've always been a huge fan of, of Claire Danes and Damien Lewis was amazing and Mandy and I loved it. So they came back to me in the second season and again, luck of the draw. I got an episode that was written by the late, amazing Henry Brumell, whose parents were both in the CIA. And the episode I got was called Q&A and 40 pages of the episode took place in one room, which I had a total panic attack about that because what am I going to do? You know, there, there is no tricks you can do as a director, like you were just in this room. <laughs> but then I realized, okay, I'm in this room with Claire Danes and Damien Lewis. I'm in this room with amazing writing and these two brilliant actors. So actually the producing director at the time, uh, Michael Cuesta, who directed the pilot, wonderful director, said to me, don't be afraid to be simple. And that was an incredibly generous thing to say and smart thing to say because, you know, again, 40 pages, you're not going to do some crazy camera work of like circling everyone around. I mean, it would for no reason, you know, to, to try to make it more energetic. It's crazy thinking. Like you have to really get into the material of the scene. And the scene was written beautifully. And basically what it is, is Claire, Carrie Matheson is trying to break Damien and turn him, you know, but he is a man who has been questioned and interrogated for eight years. He knows how this goes down. So you have two very strong characters. Uh, and one of the things about being a spy is that the best spies, 90% of what they say is true and 10% isn't. So you use your yourself. That's the strongest material you have. So what were the turns that Claire was going to have to take to get him to go with her? What did she need to do? And what are the things that he was going to do to block that? And where did that crack open up? And that was an incredible experience working with these two actors to do the dance of that scene. And we decided to shoot it all is one, or the big, biggest part of the scene, all is one piece. Now it was broken up in the script, you know, but uh, we put it all together because it was hard to figure out how to break it up. And the scene was, I think, 28 minutes. And uh, it was, I, I mean, in the middle of the first take, I felt Harry, Henry Bromel's arm like reach over and grab my hand. And we stood there together just like, it was extraordinary. And we did three takes. And the middle one was the one because we cross shooted, shot the scene. Uh, so you saw the scene happening. And it was just, it was really powerful. It was really powerful. But working with that, that kind of material and Again, I like really smart characters, and I want them to be as smart as they can be. Um, and again, my favorite kind of homeland scenes are when two characters have completely opposing views, and they're both right. There's no right answer to this. You know, and hopefully it makes the person watching it think and figure out what they think about it. But this was like that on, on steroids, you know, with these two. Talk about those two and those characters and how you helped them get to the place they had to get to in that scene. Yeah, well, that was something where we actually met on the weekends because, you know, and we had a very long rehearsal on the day. And mostly it was about talking to each of them separately about where those big shifts were and, and, and what they were uh, and, and clarifying those beats and then letting them play the scene. Uh, and, and that's kind of how we approached it, uh, being clear as to what was going on and how you organize that much material and what were the turning points for each of them, because they were different for both characters. 
uh, and I didn't want him to hear what I was talking to her about or her to hear what I was talking to him about, so that they were completely in the moment of that.